Hey, welcome to the Original Brew Collective Podcast. My name is Ben. And I'm Robert. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to watching this or listening to this, what we do on this podcast is we review different beers from different breweries, and this episode is no different. We are just, we're actually really, really excited about what we're trying today. Yeah, so absolutely. Yeah, Robert, can you tell them about why we're excited and what we're drinking today? Yeah, I'd love to. Well, first off, I'll start by saying, you may notice if you're watching on YouTube, um, we are in a different scene. You know, we have different, <laughs> oh, yeah. very different, actually. Uh, we're on vacation right now. Uh, we're up on the north coast of California along the beach. Um, beautiful beach view um, uh, in this uh, vacation home. That's so awesome. That's why we're in a different uh, location right now, different mm-hmm. scenery behind us. Um, but yeah, so we're excited about that. But yes. We're also very <laughs> excited about this beer. We're why are we drinking. excited about the beer? Right. So we are drinking. Uh, we've mentioned them before. Slice Beer Co. So, a little background, real fast. Uh, Moonraker Brewing. You, I'm sure you're all familiar with Moonraker Brewing. They're putting out some incredible beers, as always, New England. Oh, my gosh. I personally think that I've had a handful of sour IPAs that they put out that mm-hmm. have been incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, their stout game is, like, picking up strong. I mean, they're just really crushing it right now. And they were voted, when they first opened, they're only a few years old. And they're known for Yojo is one of the best new beers of the year when that first came out. Yep. Like, they're just, they've received tons of awards, and rightfully so. Moonraker is in Auburn, California. Give them a follow. But their head brewer, who uh, parted ways with them, um, and no hard feelings, uh, but he parted ways. He wanted to pursue uh, a different venture. Um, so still give them a follow. But he, he left and wanted to uh, start his own brewery. So it's actually, he's a co-owner of this new brewery called Slice Beer Co. We've talked about them before. They're located in Lincoln, California. And then they made a collaboration. So this is one of the first beers that Slice Beer Co.'s mm-hmm. name has been on. So we're very excited. And it's in collaboration with Arrow Lodge Brewing, which so is exciting. in Cor- Corvina. Covina. Uh, Covina. Yeah. Yeah. So Covina, California, which is just kind of east of L.A. area. Um, so we're really excited. This is our first beer of Arrow Lodge ever. Um, give them a follow as well, Arrow Lodge Brewing Company. And then give Slice Beer Co. This is really exciting. Yeah, give them a follow <laughs> as well. Lincoln, California, Slice Beer Co. Um, this is an Imperial Stout coming in at 11% ABV, and it is brewed with vanilla, coffee, and lactose. So we're pretty pumped about Sounds this Sounds delicious. I'm going to crack it open. I'm really excited. Yes. Then... Um, as you can see, I'm very excited. I'm wearing my Slice Beer Co. <laughs> shirt right now. Ben, can you uh, kind of give them a, a brief description of the label while I pour this one out? Of course. So, uh, yeah, so this beer is called Pitching Tents. And the. What does that make you think of, Ben? <laughs> Camping. Exactly. <laughs> so, the the label on the bottle itself, it's a it's a dark red label. And then there's, there's a tent on it with yellow trees behind it. And then Pitching Tents is. In yellow font. It's pretty simple label, but it's it's actually really cool. Um, and so if, you, if you've listened to us before, you know that we've started doing uh, fun facts. So I have a fun fact to share with you before we get into um, smelling the beer and um, the different notes of it and reviewing it. So the fun fact is there is a brewery called Brewmeister. They have a beer called Snake Venom. And Snake Venom is 67.5%. ABV, which is the highest alcohol content of a beer. So Brewmeister has the highest um, alcohol content beer, 67.5%. That's pretty damn high. That is ridiculous. That's crazy high. That would hurt, I would think. <laughs> what if it doesn't, though? It's got to be like sipping like hard alcohol, like a, you know, sipping on like a, yeah, like that's a strong true. Like a whiskey or something. It'd be interesting to see if they masked it at all, and you're just like, what? I, I, it tastes like, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, that's a fun fact that right there. A fun fact. Yeah. So we just poured it out. I do have to apologize to Ben a little bit. I think he maybe got a little bit more than me, actually. So I don't oh, really apologize to you. But it's okay. No, more? I actually. So we'll see as it rises. But I yeah, yours gave myself, has great head retention. Mine has incredible head retention. Um, great head right here. I poured it a little harsher right off the bat. Um, so the head is it's just like a thick, fluffy foam. It's crazy, and it the bubbles like are really dense. A mocha. Yeah. The head. The head of. Yeah, it. like the like a like a um. The steam cream, or whatever. Mm-hmm. I, you're familiar with like coffee drinks. Ben is a coffee connoisseur of sorts, mm. to a level. To an extent, <laughs> I just more really so like than I am. Yeah. yeah. Um, but when they do like the the whip, like, yeah. I'm like, what kind of drinks are those? Where they use like the espresso steamer and then they put the cream. Um, that would be like lattes. Or... I guess I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah. So kind of like 
is, I mean, it looks thick, like fluffy, like a cream mm-hmm. almost. Oh, like, yeah, that's lattes or cappuccinos. Oh, okay, yeah, perfect. Mm-hmm. So it looks like, I mean, we could have done some, maybe some, I should have tried some pouring art. Like <laughs> you could have, art. yeah. I should have tried that. But it's like a dark, that looks like a mocha, the head of it. Yeah, absolutely. It's nice. like a nice milk chocolatey mocha color on the head. And the color is pretty black. Yeah, it's, that is, I would say jet black. That is very dark. You can see. I know Ben was describing the label. If you're watching with us on YouTube right now, we'll kind of hold it up. Hopefully the camera picks it up at least a little bit. Simple label. Cool artwork. I like how basic it is, to be honest. This is like, it, the color is essentially, it could be a night sky while you're camping. You know, because <laughs> yeah, it's kinda so like, dark. Kind of like the night sky here. You know, on the it's North so Coast dark. Uh, yeah. Obviously there's stars, but like. Yeah, tons of stars. In the space, it's yeah between the stars. It's so dark. Yeah. Swirling it around a little bit. Oh man! So Ben's head has died down. He didn't get it. It is leaving that lacing. But it's leaving though. the lacing. Yeah, it, it seems really nice. solid. It like the head retention on yours is really impressive. Yeah, yeah, it is. Let's see what we get on the nose. All right. Whoa. Okay. This smells so good. I know that was quick. It but smells I like smelled a right chocolatey away. mocha. Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. It's sweet. Yeah. It smells sweet and like chocolate mocha. There's I de- mean, mocha there's... is, is that already like a chocolate yeah. thing? Okay, mm-hmm. so it it's smells like... like a sweet mocha. Yeah. But, like, there's definitely notes of, like, stout, like the stout, like, characteristics to this. Yeah, for sure. And so, yeah, the coffee for sure is coming through on it. This smells, I mean, this smells really good. Want to give it a it taste? It does smell so good. Yes, I do. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so on the palate for me, there's a lot of coffee. Hundred percent. That's it's a lot of coffee. It's kind of it reminds me of if you sweetened or not if you sweetened, but cold brew sweetened. Exactly. Sweetened so that, I'm glad you said that because I was going to say this is. I think for me when I we have a lot of stouts and you know coffee is supposed to be in it, the coffee notes. It, it, it takes more of the back seat, I think, with coffee. I don't know if, if this, that coffee kind of maybe falls off. You know, if we age, hold on to the bottle too long, like maybe coffee falls off a little bit or what, whatever it be. But for this one, this is a, like the coffee char- notes and characters are right up front. Yep. And when you were saying it's sweetened, it's, I would say you go to a coffee shop and you get a coffee, like a cold brew coffee with the vanilla, uh, yeah, vanilla like cream. This. Vanilla syrup. Vanilla syrup or something like that. And I don't want you to think like syrupy, like artificially sweet vanilla. They nailed the vanilla flavor on mm-hmm. this. I'm loving the vanilla flavors on this. It's like the perfect it's yeah uh, accent to this coffee flavor that we're getting. I love this because a lot of the time when you when you go, at least I know I do, when I go camping, I like to have coffee, mm-hmm. you know, in the morning. And this just reminds in a way reminds me because it's called pitching tent so that's why i'm bringing that up but it like reminds me of that it's just this it's a salt i love the coffee flavor on it it's yeah. so good i wonder what coffee beans that you i don't for. know i don't know if it says because i it is it doesn't good. say this maybe you can really, really look it up that up online and if but, you're if you're a coffee fan i mean a stout fan in general but but you like is, coffee the coffee flavors in this one are very upfront incredible the vanilla comes in and backs it up 100 percent nice like subtle still but nice vanilla notes on this one yeah this is really good it's like coffee the with vanilla the vanilla kinda, sweetener the vanilla really is up front and on the back mm-hmm. as well it's all the way through mm-hmm. which is cool i think a lot of times with vanilla it's kind of you get it on the back end or but it, this is just the yeah. coffee vanilla just really comes through. Yeah. At the same time, I'd almost like taking another sip. I almost want to say it's like a coffee chocolate. Yeah. Like you have a co- like a chocolate bar or something like that with like uh, I don't know how like an espresso that. coffee like, chip. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. Or like an espresso, like espresso a chocolate covered espresso bean. That's exact. That's what I meant. Not okay. an espresso. I've never chip. had an espresso chip. And no. I was like, oh, that sounds no. On. I'm, I meant what you said. <laughs> like a coffee bean, like that's covered in chocolate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is really good that's very spot on yeah with the taste it's like a this. chocolate covered espresso bean with vanilla mm-hmm. and i'm loving it i 
Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, a lot. This is cool. It's really good. So we're gonna see how this, this opens makes up me a little so bit. So excited for Slice. I know. Well, oh you got to give credit to Arrow Lodge. Technically, That's true. Arrow Lodge is the one where they. This is the location they brewed it, and this is the brewery that brewed or that bottled it. Um, so much credit, um, given where it's due, Arrow Lodge. But obviously, Slice ha- played a big role in this as well. It was a collaboration. Yeah, so no and discredit to Slice. We're close to Slice. Yeah, so I'm very excited about Slice, and I think obviously it's a collaboration, so they played a g- big role in this as well. But credit to Arrow Lodge as well. I'm really. Enjoying um, this. We're gonna. I'm, I mean, obviously, we're gonna be getting drinking as much Slice as we can. But Arrow Lodge is definitely on our radar now. And mm-hmm. I'm gonna be wanting more from them. Um, so for today's episode, we are going to be doing a little bit of throwback. We're going to do pub trivia. It's one of our go-tos. We find that people like it. We like it. Um, and it's fun. It is super fun. Yeah, it's fun. (laughs) Um, so this round, I'm actually going to be asking the trivia questions to Ben. Ben's going to, rather than answer them right away, he's going to put them into his notes. And then at the end, we're going to review the answers and we're going to see how many Ben got right. So if you play along, you'll... Wait to the end, and you'll find out what you got right. And if you beat Ben, hopefully you do. Hopefully you don't. Right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, all right. Ben, are you ready? I'm ready. You have your notepad out on your phone? I do. Okay, so I have my phone in front of me. No peeking. I won't no look. peeking. You I looked over. Oh, well, I looked at you. My hand was in the way. He yeah, didn't I didn't see it. see it. All right. Question number one, y'all. How many dots are there on two dice? So if you take... One die, and how many dots are on it, and then double it. Really? But okay. yeah, two different die, add them up. All right. Okay. Which nail, and I, let me clarify, actually. Which fingernail grows the fastest? Hmm. All right. I mean, I have a guess. Ooh. I want to say, did we talk about the mouthfeel on this one? Not a whole lot. Okay. I don't think we did at all. Yeah, I don't think we did. It's like a nice medium, a solid yeah. medium. There is a little bit of carbonation to it as well. Mm-hmm. Pretty yeah. light, though. Yeah, it's not overly carbonated. It's just like the carbonation's there. Mm-hmm. Um, but a nice, solid, medium mouthfeel. It's good. All right. Question number three Which German city is famous for the perfume it produces? What? I'll repeat. <laughs> I had, I heard the question. I said, and you no. only get. I think we decided in previous episodes you only get one repeat, right? Sure. Yeah. That, okay. That's fair. One repeat right here. Which German city is famous for the perfume it produces? I mean, okay. All right. Next question. This is question. Question four. What is the only mammal that can't jump? Interesting. <laughs> okay. All right. Question number five. Five new sports have been added to the Summer Olympics for 2020. Name two of them. Sports? I'll repeat. Five new sports have been added to the Summer Olympics for 2020. Name two of them. Um... Okay, <laughs> I feel like my and and when we say we can repeat a question, if you don't have an answer right now, we can keep going okay. the next questions and then we'll repeat at the end. Okay, so just like note it if you want to get a repeat later on. Okay, sounds good. All right, next question: Which two countries share the longest international border? Hmm. Two countries. Hmm. So I'll repeat it. Which two countries share the longest international border? So think of between countries, what has the longest border? And then it's those two countries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Final question. And I do think this is a tough one. This would, for me, if I'd answer this. These these actually are all kind of tough. I think so, too. And you know what? To be honest with you, my wife put them together. So (laughs) blame her. (laughs) Um, all right. They're tough, but you can make educated guesses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And this one for sure would be a guess for me. Okay. Which planet has the most gravity? Hmm. Which planet has the most gravity? What an interesting question. Because I'm trying to think of. 
what it is that ca- is it like causes gravity. I'm no scientist by any means. <laughs> I was going to say something, and then I realized I might sound really dumb, so I don't Just want to... Just do it. Just sound dumb, dude. I don't know if it has to do with the, the, you know, the rotational spin, but I was thinking it has to do with, like, the core. No. Oh, okay. Maybe, I mean, maybe it's with the atmosphere outside of the planet. I have no idea. Yeah. I shouldn't have even said anything. Now I sound dumb. I don't think you sound... Unless I was dumb. right, then I sound... Super smart. Super um, smart. Can you repeat number four? You got it. The fourth one. What is the only mammal that yeah. cannot jump? That is such a difficult question because I feel like there's a loophole. No, it's not a trick question. I know. You just have to know what a mammal is and then kind of just try to think and then make an educated guess on what you think. Okay. I have, I have my answers. You have all of them. I have all of them. All right. Hopefully you have all of them, all you listeners out there. So we're going to start from question one and I'll read them again and then I'll give you the answers. And then ben, Wait, can I tell you what my answer yeah, was? Yeah, please, yeah. And yeah. ask what, if you got them right or not. Oh my gosh. And then what your answers were. This beer is so good. This is very good. It is so enjoyable. All right. <laughs> All right, question number one. How many dots are there on two dice? I said 42. You got it right. The answer was 42. Mm-hmm. All right, question number two. Which nail grows the fat? Which fingernail mm-hmm. grows the fastest? The fingernail that I think grows the fastest Oh my gosh, I think I want to change my answer. Listen to your heart. Okay, forefinger. Don't tell me what it is, if that that sounds like it was wrong. I don't, which, which, which your pointer finger? Oh, okay. Uh, no, it's wrong. Okay. What did it, you, just out of curiosity, what did you initially put? I was going to, I put my, the forefinger, and, but then I was going to change it to thumbnail. No. Okay, okay, so the answer is middle finger. Is it? Okay. I think it's so that. Nature wants us to be able to flip off and be more distinguished when we flip off. You yeah. Know, so it's more like visible. The reason I thought it was either <laughs> the two of those is because I play guitar and a lot of yeah. guitarists, I don't, but when guitarists do finger picking, mm-hmm. their, th- their thumbnail and their um, index, oh, it's index finger, not forefinger. Oh, Wait, yeah. Index finger? I don't know. That is the point. Of Whatever. Fingers. The one that you point with. <laughs> That's an index finger. Okay. Index finger. I think. Um. Those like they grow those out longer so they can pick the strings okay. better. And my guess, I don't know. My guess was the thumbnail, but yeah, I was obviously wrong as well. Middle finger, interesting. Yeah, middle finger. Okay, I think nature wants us to flip off people. Yeah, more I often think so, and it to be more noticeable. I think we should take advantage of that. We should. <laughs> All right, next question: Which German city is famous for the perfume it produces? So I just guessed Munich. Oof! Hopefully, someone out there got the right answer. The answer is Cologne. Interesting. I didn't know that that was... Yeah, that's a place. That's cool. Yeah. That's, that's a... like a champagne. Champagne huh. has to be produced in Champagne, France for it to actually be considered I champagne. I had no idea that there was a city called Cologne. Yeah. They have like... Did you know that? I did, yes. You did? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, there's certain things, like I said, like champagne. Uh, it's You cannot legally call your beverage. If you make champagne, you can't call it champagne unless it was produced in Champagne, France. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, anything else would I think be like probably like a sparkling Dang, wine? France really monopolizing that. Well, name. same in Mexico with um, tequila. Actually, it has it's, to be brewed in certain regions. If it's up brewed with outside of certain is regions, is tequila brewed or distilled? Distilled, distilled. Distill. Sorry, okay. thank you. Um, yeah, it has to be distilled um, within certain regions, like Jalisco. Um, if it's distilled outside of that, then it's. Um, Do you know what tequila is made? Mezcal, of? agave plant. Okay, that's yeah. right. That's right. All right. Next question. <laughs> Sorry. What is the only mammal that can't jump? Um, I feel like I really enjoy my answer. I said a beaver. Is a beaver a mammal? I think so. They have fur. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, that's wrong. It's okay. an elephant. Oh. So if a beaver is a mammal, beavers can jump. Beavers got hops. Dang. Um. Yeah. Elephant makes sense because they're so dang heavy. And yeah. 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 I, mean, I can't picture one jumping at all. There's so many mammals to cycle through your brain yeah yeah so (laughs) all right i've just never seen a beaver jump so this one has multiple answers yeah there's five potential answers so you had to get two of them so the question is name five or sorry five new sports have been added to the summer olympics for 2020 name only two of them okay so because we're going to be in 2020 based off of our world that we live in today one of them I said was gaming. I said gaming and slacklining. Those are both wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but interesting. 
Um, so I can just see based, them doing a Olympics of gaming. Based off of some of the sports I've seen in, in the Olympics, well, I have one in mind, and it's particular. The, it's in particular is the Winter Olympics. It's just like, shuffle puck or something. No, no, I, that's oh, totally oh, fine. Oh, oh, um, it's one where they cross country ski and then ski or then shoot targets. Oh, like that just seems so absolutely random. I could see slacklining is a thing. Like, yeah, why not, you know, if that's a and sport, gaming is they have. Tournaments around the world for gaming. Yeah. Seriously, I, in diff- other different countries. Don't, that's obviously not a physical athlete, though. I know. So that's but, what the Olympics is about. But I know. A mental. Yeah. I mean, there's some physical It's considered aspects, a sport. Uh, Your thumb could get really sore. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Yeah. I mean, let's start a petition. <laughs> so the answers are, so there's five, like I said, there's five knee sports. You only had to say two of them. So if you did list off two, then you got both points. You got mm-hmm. the point. The point? Yes. Yeah. Um, so the five possible answers are baseball slash softball, which Baseball's seems not way in over, an Olympic game. No, it seems way overdue. That's like, why well, would, it's really popular in America, but it might right. not be in other countries. Well, they have incredible players. A lot of the players in MLB are yeah recruited from like different countries, yeah. like Spanish speaking regions and stuff. And I know like I think Japan has good yeah athletes over there playing baseball. It, that, is, that just that surprises. Cr- me. Yeah, that is surprising. Yeah, actually. absolutely. Okay, so baseball slash softball, karate, skateboarding, sport climbing, so like well, rock climbing, skateboarding? and surfing, which is totally applicable. Why hasn't, especially the yeah, Summer Olympics? I think because skating and uh, surfing, they've been in like X Games. Right. You yeah, know? for years. Yeah. But that, okay, if you watch skating, man, I can't, like on when they're on the, the vert ramp, uh-huh. right? Yeah. Half pipe, half pipe. And they're doing like the nine hundreds. Actually, someone just broke that record. Someone just did a ten eighty, ten twenty, or ten eighty. Ten eighty. It would be ten eighty. Well, I mean, how they do just you beat do the nine hundred? That? that is so. To get to that a few point, ago. The, to get to that point where you have the spin, yeah, the spin, but like the guts to even try it, yeah, is crazy to me. Because you're just on this little board, super high in the air, just spinning like crazy, and then like mm-hmm. landing it. Like, yeah. what the heck? I don't know. Who are ask. these people? And then even like snowboarding, how they that does make that doesn't make sense that it hasn't been in because they have the Winter Olympics and like surfing, snowboarding. Obviously, they're not the same, but they're pretty similar. And like you're on a board, yeah, and everything. Huh? One you're on frozen water, the other you're on so it's liquid water. Yeah. So it was sur- <laughs> yeah, that's true. It was surfing, skating, karate. Baseball and what was the other one? Uh, sport climbing, so like rock. Climbing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like I guess how fast you can do it. I think so. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I think. Nice. Um, those are all yeah, some much those... more athletically um, challenging than gaming, probably. But I mean, give those gamers credit; they work their thumbs off. They do. Good job. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So, next question: Which two countries share the longest international border? What did you put, Ben? I. I feel like I'm wrong, but I said Canada and the United States. Oh, man. You got it right. Really? Yeah. Yes, right. dude. Well done. Well, I was, well done. Well I was done. trying to think of... Yeah, I'm glad I got it. Because I was trying to think of other countries. Like, Russia is obviously I huge. mean, it's, a, it's a, the U.S. and Canada. Yeah, it is. A crazy long border. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. That's the entire U.S. All right. Cool. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. All right. Final question. Which planet has the most gravity? I guessed Mercury. The answer is Jupiter. Okay. So I was I wrong. Was wrong. So wrong. what I was basing it <laughs> off of was I don't exactly know what causes gravity and maybe it's just random. I'm, I mean, not random, but um, doesn't have like a pattern because I was trying to think of close closest to the sun. Okay. You know? Yeah. No, each, each planet I think has their own gravitational Yeah, I'm, It I'm might sure. be how like dense the planet is or something Oh, like maybe. That. Planet's density? Yeah. I don't know. I wonder what it would be like to walk around on Jupiter. I wonder how much more the gravitational pull is than Earth. You know? Because, yeah. I mean, I feel like when I try to jump here, I can't jump that high. <laughs> and so... Well, the air you get, like, an inch off the ground. Or, like, does that mean it... Um, do you feel weighed down when you're jumping? Or do you get, get pulled down faster? You know what I mean? I think it'd be the kind of, they kind of coincide a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So that'd be interesting. How many did you get right total? Oh, not that many. Yeah. <laughs> you got the first one right. Got the first one, and I got two right. Yeah. Because Beaver wasn't... I thought that was a great guess. But... Who's I ever seven s- questions? I mean, has... Two like, out of seven? 
Two out of seven. Could have been worse. Could have been one out of seven. Could have been zero out of seven. Could have been also zero out of seven. Hey, <laughs> I think on the right side. It's fun though. I like I like thinking of. I don't know. I like making educational guesses. And yeah, I mean those. I be. will say those were hard questions. Yeah, they were challenging questions. Some of them I was just kind of, just kind of. That's uh, fine. Guessing. That's that. fine. Yeah. Um. So once again, um. Uh, thanks for playing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed trivia. We love doing trivia. We love going to our local breweries and playing trivia. It's mm-hmm. really fun. Um. So once again, we are drinking a collaboration beer, Arrow Lodge Brewing and Slice Beer Co. Arrow Lodge is in. Covina, Covina, California. Mm-hmm. Covina, California. Um, I said that's outside of LA. Um, east of LA. I do and have something to slice Beer Co., which is in Lincoln, California, which for us, fortunately, is not too far from where we live. Mm-hmm. And what we were going to say. I was just going to say, uh, continuing drinking it, um, up when we were drinking it at the beginning, when you drink, obviously, when you're drinking black coffee, there's a bit of a, a bitterness to it. And I yeah. feel like I was getting that at the beginning, but. I don't get as much bitterness anymore on it. Mm-hmm. That's kind of subsided. I don't get any. I think it's just so good. Yeah. It's like, uh, for me now, I know we were describing it as like a, a, a specialty coffee drink with or like a nitro cold brew kind of thing with the uh, vanilla. vanilla. Mm-hmm. And then we were kind of comparing it as well to a espresso, chocolate covered espresso bean. Now it's like blending the two. It's like they made a coffee drink out of those chocolate espresso beans which and is, out of the vanilla. Which is really cool because... The it's always, especially for stouts, you know, you kind of hope you wait for the flavors to open up and then change and see what those different notes are. And mm. this one really did that. This I'm, one really opened up. I'm getting like the uh, coffee vanilla real quick, and then it's finishing with chocolate. The f- my nose now too. I'm noticing more chocolate, like yeah. chocolate coffee espresso the, beans. The flavor pro. I mean, obviously, didn't change to completely different things, but yeah, it did change a bit. Yeah, it did, and it's. It's a really great drinking yeah. experience. This is a really good Imperial Stout coming in at 11% ABV. I will for sure get this again. Yeah. If they continue. Well, where, well, a collaboration. where I got them, they sold out pretty quick. Yeah. Day of um, when they, they got them in stock. Um, but go follow Aero Lodge Brewing Company. Go follow Slice Beer Co. Um, also, actually, we have our own Instagram accounts, Ben and I individually, um, outside of Original Brew Collective. So you can give me a follow if you'd like to and you don't. If you find me appealing in any way. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Robert at Robert underscore OBC. And, and then I'm at Benjamin underscore OBC. And then Ben, where tell everyone where they can follow Original Brew Collective. Yeah, so you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram, both at, at Original Brew Collective. And yep. then on Twitter, at Brew Original. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel that we post videos to weekly. And then as well as um, if you're listening on a on our podcast or whatever platform you're listening to, you can subscribe to it so you can see when the episodes come out. So yeah. And then on the streaming services and YouTube, feel free to like and rate and subscribe. We'd love that. Yeah. We appreciate it a lot. Yeah, for sure. Um, so we close out every episode with a cheers. Obviously we want to cheers to you for joining us, listening, hanging out with us. We really do appreciate it. We'd love to hear from you. Seriously. We mean that. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we also want to do a special cheers every episode to close it out. Um, we mentioned at the beginning of this that we're vacationing um, up on the north coast of California. Um, beautiful scenery. Um, we have a window here that literally is out looking the ocean. It's, it's incredible. So awesome. It's it like is. a cliff and then just waves crashing. It's incredible. But um, when we came in here into the, the rental home, uh, there were signs for raccoons. And it says, uh, beware of leaving windows open even with screens. Um, because the raccoons will open the screens and come in even if they know you're home. So I'd like to cheers to the raccoons <laughs> for being bold enough to pursue their dreams, you know, yeah. um, and not letting haters hate. They don't care. Not caring if they're going to come in no matter what. They're going to they're going to come in and pursue their dreams. I mean, really, this is America. Yeah. So here's to the raccoons. Here's <laughs> cheers. Cheers to the raccoons. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for joining us. We really do appreciate it. Um, we hope to uh, have you listen to our other episodes. Um, follow along. Um, and like I said, uh, subscribe, rate, follow, reach out. Yeah. Appreciate it. So we're going to close this one out. We're going to keep sipping this incredible collaboration from Aero Lodge Brewing and Slice Beer Co. Cheers to the raccoons. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.